Hey there, high fashion doll lovers. If you've tuned into my video before, welcome back. And if this is your first time in my video, hola, I am just Christopher. Now, before I get into today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and press the bell notification because these videos come out kind of random. Just saying. Now, before I get into today's reaction unboxing, I have to give a very special and very heartfelt thank you to Integrity Toys. So, if many of you by now probably know i was fortunate enough to showcase my collection at this year's convention um and i was just truly happy with showcasing it um i wasn't expecting anything back um i was just happy with kind of just sharing the joy of my collection and being able to um put that out there for everybody but integrity reached out and um decided to send me a little token of appreciation and i am forever grateful because i honestly wasn't expecting anything and um yeah i'm, I'm a little like lost for words at the same time so let's get into it so i have it over here it is beauty boss is it cabot clark i usually get the names messed up because i'm really not that good at names to begin with um correct me if i'm wrong please um from the industry now i had to look this doll up because i believe this collection was released a little before i started collecting so i wasn't very familiar with it um, which is beautiful because that means they sent me something I don't have. Oh, and a own. Love me some boys. Just love me some boys. Oh, it's been a minute since I've seen an industry box. Secretly kind of miss them. It's a nice light up situation. <gasps> yes. So I like love when they do this with the industry. I love the um, kind of pre portrait i almost wish they would do it with fashion royalty and new face only because i secretly want to save them and frame them one day it's like a, a diy project in my head i'm like if i had all these beautiful portraits of the dolls i would frame them i would be that person all right let's take this off oh this coat though yeah the coat it was the first thing i noticed can't even lie to you can't even lie to you Oh, in this bag. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. You're probably, probably, probably. That's not even a word. You're probably wondering what's getting me this excited. Well, let me show you. Look at that coat. Ooh. Okay. Can't wait to unbox this. Now, if you're new to my channel, you've never been here before, I don't want you to struggle with me because this can be a struggle sometimes for me. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox him off camera and then we'll be right back and I'll show you what he looks like in all his glory with all of his accessories and all styled. Now, I didn't think about this before I filmed this video. I also usually restyle the dolls on my channel. Let's see if I think of something. We'll leave that in suspense. I'll be right back. Honestly, where does one even begin? I'm starting from the top because the wonders of things that appeared in his bag need to be left for last. Um, as you all noticed, I was in just a state of shock with this coat. It is just so fabulous, so beautiful. I mean, what is there to say? I also just love the vibes of this outfit. It's very like nightclub ready, which I appreciate. Also, shoes. Love that they gave me a pair of socks. Um, however, my fingers are not appreciating how hard it was to put these shoes on, which you would have thought they wouldn't be because they're slip-ons. But uh, yeah, I didn't use the socks. Now, I almost don't even want to go down. Okay, the bag, or should I say the suitcase? Amazing because it has more than one compartment, but what was inside is the best part. Look at all of this, guys. Like, I, look, I'm, I'm, I, I don't even have words. Don't have words. So pretty. Look at the detail of, like, the color palettes in there. You kind of can't see this purple one because of my lighting, but it is what it is. Look, I, I really don't have words. Oh, focus, focus. There we go. The attention to detail, as always with integrity, is above and beyond. And to have this kind of like makeup set as the beauty boss just really ties all of this together. 
it's one of those things where like it was a pleasant surprise as I said earlier I didn't really know much about this doll um, and I looked up an image of the doll but I didn't really see what the doll came with so to open this bag and to see all of this inside was like almost like Christmas not even gonna lie to you <sighs> details just so beautiful and I'm actually not one that always uses a lot of props just because I always feel like I can never make them work but I will definitely be using this oh yeah I should probably turn on the flash but it's okay so I've decided we are going to restyle him why because it wouldn't be my channel if I didn't um yeah so let's see what we put him in now this is something I kind of just threw together right now um I have to point out that besides the fur coat I am in love with this sheer shirt which actually has like a black panel on the back um, also, I know Integrity does not do this anymore because I have a lot of the boys, but I love when Velcro is used correctly. So I really appreciate the shirt is fastened with Velcro on the front and it's a very thin strip. I know a lot of people who collect Integrity don't really appreciate the Velcro because they feel like it less than the clothing. But I feel like if Velcro is used correctly, then I don't mind it. And in this case, I really do appreciate how clean it looks and how well it does the job to close the shirt in the front. Um, because he was wearing so many dark colors, I kind of just wanted to lighten it up. So this is bare jeans, kind of like a, a color jacket. Some real simple kind of like moccasins, nothing crazy. Just wanted to showcase him in something a little bit more casual. Although the shirt is really not casual at all. But I love the shirt too much, so I decided to keep it. What can I say? But here he is, restyled give you a different vibe of different look um, of what he looks like. I feel like I moved that really quickly. Sorry, I'm doing this with my hand. So if it's a little shaky, it's because it's my hand. It's not a robot, you know, just saying. Yeah. Okay, everyone, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in for an unboxing video with me right here on my channel. Just a quick reminder, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and press the bell notifications because the videos do come out quite randomly. I wish I could work on that, but that's just the way they come to me. So yeah. Also, make sure to leave a comment and a like. I would love to have a conversation with you guys and let's get that algorithm going on the channel, okay? Also, let's put up some positive vibes out there that, um any kind of like blockages that were in our way for us to get our dolls is removed because I would like to get going on these convention videos. Just saying. Just, you know, really want that to happen. But until then, see you then. Bye guys.